How's it going everyone, Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly solo the Perdition Lost Sector on Legend difficulty on any class in under 2 minutes and 14 seconds. I already have videos showing how to quickly run the other 4 Lost Sectors, those 4 in this video will be in a playlist on my channel so you can farm any Lost Sector on any day. Before I get into it, if you end up enjoying the video or finding it useful, make sure to like and subscribe, I'd love to have you join my channel. Also, if you're already part of my channel, let's try and get this video to 50 likes. If you want to further support my channel and plan to shop on Amazon anytime soon, hit up my affiliate links in the description down below. Alright, let's do a quick overview of my setup for each class. The weapons are the same across all three classes, so I'll go over those first. In my kinetic slot, I used the Wither Horde. This isn't required, but will speed the run up a bit. If you don't have this, you could try out a shotgun. Bastion, or a scout rifle with overload rounds. Then, in my energy slot, I have the Geon 7 Arc Pulse Rifle. This is extremely useful for the Arc Shields on the Harpies in this Lost Sector. Although, if you want a couple alternatives, something like the Iculos or 7th Seraph SMG would work as well. Whatever you use, make sure you can put anti-barrier rounds on it. Finally, for my Heavy, I went with the Falling Guillotine Sword with a major spec mod on it. This is for all of the champions and the boss. It does get a nice 50% damage boost in this Legend Lost Sector, which is quite useful. Moving on to my subclass choices, you're basically going to want to use a Stasis or Solar subclass if you don't have an Overload weapon on. So, for my Warlock I decided to go with a Shade Binder with Dusk Field Grenade. For my Exotic I went with Ophidian Aspect for faster reloads and weapon handling. Then on my Titan I went with Bottom Tree Sunbreaker with the Thermite Grenade. Dune Marchers were my exotic of choice because one well-placed melee could break several Harpy shields at once. And on my Hunter, I went with the Revenant and the Duskfield Grenade. Mask of Bacris can come in handy to quickly get out of dangerous situations. Also, the Geon 7 gets a bit of a damage boost for 10 seconds after dodging. Lastly, for armor mods, make sure you have the appropriate champion mods in your arms. Then, if you're using your grenade to disrupt overload champions like I did, make sure to slot Surge Eater and Thermal Overload in your class item. I don't usually bring up specific Charged with Light mods, but if possible, slot in at least Protective Light and Shield Break Charge if you have them. This will help protect you when your shield breaks. Then, in your chest, I recommend putting a Melee Damage Resistance and a Concussive Dampener mod. Well, that's all for the setup. If you want to skip to a specific run, there will be timestamps on the screen, Otherwise, stick around to see a run from each class in under 2 minutes and 14 seconds.